Alrighty guys, what's going on? MTG McQuax here, going solo, but opening a box of Dragons of Tark here. Uh, usually I do these with my sister, but she's out there pursuing her modeling career, so you know, it's going well. She's just not available to do these, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this. I haven't opened a box since I think Born of the Gods, so it's been a little while, but pretty excited to just honestly open 36 packs of anything <laughs> like just, just that many packs in a row is just so cool so go ahead and, uh, get to it I'm not super familiar with the set I know some of the good cards but if I miss one uh, just please forgive me got a little uh, Sarkon there best night of the week Friday sure okay not sure how we want to do this I think we'll save the middle Start on the right side. Get rid of the left side. Let's take these, put those there for now. And let us begin. Quickly. Ooh, let's uh let's uh Spielberg this thing. Let's uh there we go. Now we're talking. Alright. First packs I've really opened outside of the intro packs got a Gate Smasher, Shield Hide Dragon, Storm Rider Rig, and Colden's Command. Choose two, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Target player discards a card, destroy target artifact. Colden's Command deals two damage to target creature or player. For one black and red. It's not too uh not too shabby. The dragon token. Cool. So used to just opening one pack <laughs> and then being done with the video. This feels wrong. Alright. Got a Colagon com or Colagon Monument. Explosive Vegetation. So uh, glad that got a reprint. It's really cool. Tapestry of Ages of the Ages and Berserker's Onslaught. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. Yeah, that's it's not all that good. <laughs> I mean, it's just expensive. Alright. Mind Rat, interesting looking. Evolving Wilds, love the art on that. Swift War Kite, Surge of Righteousness, Tarka Monument, and Dragon Lord's Prerogative. Four and two blue, it's a rare instant. As an additional cost to cast Dragon Lord's Prerogative, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you reveal a dragon card or controlled a dragon as you cast Dragon Lord's Prerogative, Dragon Lord's Prerogative can't be countered, draw four cards. Oh my god, that's so much text for just saying draw four cards. <laughs> Why does the other shit need to exist? Alright. Somebody is. I don't know why I like that card art. <laughs> First time seeing that. <laughs> Alright. Echoes of the Kintry, Seismic Rupture, Silumgar Monument, and a Collected Company. I think one of the better rares in the set. I do believe we got a foil too. Look at the top six cards of your library. Put two creature cards that converted mana cost three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest of them on the bottom of your library in any order. Pretty cool. And... Yes! Nailing it. Sabertooth Outrider. Trample. No one gives it. It's foil. <laughs> it's foil common. And a Jin Monk token. Alright, I gotta think of a way to do this better, so I think I'm just gonna throw all of that on the floor, and that's where that stuff's gonna go. On the floor, yeah. Alright. Ooh, that's pretty. Enduring Scale Lord. Seismic Rupture. Minister of Pain. I think we got a Planeswalker. Yeah, we did! Yes! Ah! Alright, Narset Transcended. That's awesome. Two, a white and a blue, six loyalty, plus one. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a non-creature, non-land card, you may, yeah, you may reveal it, put it into your hand. Negative two, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell from your hand this turn, it gains rebound. Awesome. Negative nine, you get an emblem with your opponents can't cast non-creature spells. That's just, that's sex on the card right there. Oh, that's so good. Whew. 
I don't care what else I pull. Hey, hey Wedge. Hi, Wedge. How you doing, Wedge? You're looking really, really sexy in your polo, Wedge. She's mine. If you guys don't know, uh, Wedge from the Manosaurus is in love with Narset. I believe he calls her his bae, which makes me want to throw up every time because I hate the word bae. <laughs> Endurance Scale Lord, Culligan Forerunners, Strong Arm Monk, and an Arashin Foremost. 2-2 two, two for 1 and 2 white, double strike. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks another target warrior creature you control, gains double strike until the end of turn. That's pretty cool for 3. That's not too shabby. That's just shabby enough on the shabby scale. Alright. Get through all this garbage. Sight Beyond Sight. Salt Road Ambushers. Self-Inflicted Wound. Harbinger of the Hunt. I believe this is one of the intro pack rares. I should probably know that by now, but... 5-3 uh, three for 3, red-green. Flying for 2 and a red. Deals 1 damage to each creature without flying for 2 and a green. Each creature with flying. And a warrior token. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I see a foil. Sarkon's Triumph. Scale Guard Sentinels. Dragon Hunter. And a Clone Legion's first mythic. I don't think it's a good one. <laughs> For each creature target player controls, put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that creature. I mean, sweet, maybe commander, but it's nine and a sorcery, so what are you going to do? And a foil Dromoka's gift. Bolster four. That's it. <laughs> and the freaking cutest damn goblin token in the world. I love that one so much. It's like a little abominable snow goblin. How can you not love that? Ooh. Well, that just kind of jumps right out at you. I like that. All right. I like the pacifism art. I think that's, uh, like, if I get a foil one of that, that would be sweet. I think it's a, a pretty sexy card. Gate Smasher, Scale Guard Sentinels, Silumgar Spell Eater, and a Blessed Reincarnation. Oh, my God. Look at that novel down there. Whew. Three in a blue instant. Exile target creature and opponent controls. That player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until the creature card is revealed. The player puts that card onto the battlefield and shuffles the rest into his or her library. And it has rebound. Kind of cool. And a uh, morph token. God, this feels so good. Like, there's just so many more packs to open. It just feels wrong. I'm going pretty slow here, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. With the power of just trying to go faster. Lurking Aranx, Slumgar Spell Eater, Ultimate Price, Obscuring Aether. Face down creature spells you cast cost one less to cast, one in a green. Turn it face down, becomes a 2 2. And a foil conifer strider. 5 1 hexproof. That is all. Alright, two more packs on this side. Other modern masters, you get on the floor, you. All right, kicking it into overdrive. Here we go. Battle mastery, stormcrag elemental, gadul lurker, and an ire shaman. Ire shaman can be blocked except by two or more creatures. Mega morph. When ire shaman is turned face up, exile the top card of your library until the end of turn. You may play that card. That's up. Pretty good. I think. <laughs> Hell, I don't know. All right. I'll, ooh, yeah. We got a Call Sisma Behemoth. Salungar Sorcerer. Minister of Pain. And a Blood Chin Fanatic. Yeah. One in a black, sacrifice another warrior creature. Target player loses X life, and you gain X life, where X is a sacrificed creature's power. 3-3 three, three for one and two black. For that very relevant, very relevant black-white warrior deck. All right, let's... uh. I think this is the left side. Like, it just feels wrong to open this many packs. I don't know. Yes! Get all them of volume miles. 
Learn from the Past, Stormwing Dragon, a Tarka Monument, and Living Lore. What the heck? That is really weird. <laughs> As Living Lore enters the battlefield, the exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Living Lore's power and toughness are equal to the exiled card's converted mana cost. Whenever Living Lore deals combat damage, you may sacrifice it. If you do, you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. That's actually kind of cool. I don't know how viable it is, but it seems fun in some format. Whew, all these evolving wilds, man. I, can't, I cannot be stopped. They're all in the same spot, too, which is weird. Culligan Monument. Grace Blade Artisan, that's sweet. Avon Sunstriker, and a Radiant Purge. Exile target multicolored creature or multicolored enchantment. Not too shabbis. Shabbis? That's not a word. Alright. Dance of the Skywise, Salt Road Quartermasters, Ultimate Price, Dramokas Command, nice. I love Celestia so much, or whatever that's called now. Instant, choose to prevent all damage, target instant or sorcery spell would deal this turn, target player sacrifices an enchantment, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, or target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Pretty, pretty spicy. Oh. I'm, uh, damn, I was way off. Ruthless Death Thing, Shield Hide Dragon, I don't know what, like, dragons just look fat to me. But, I don't know. Storm Rider Rig, and a Necromaster Dragon. 4-4, four, four, 3 blue-black. Flying whenever it deals combat damage to a player you may pay 2. If you do, put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. And each opponent puts the top 2 cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. I believe that's the uh, intro pack rare for uh, plots, cool plots, whatever it is. I opened that like two days ago. I probably should know that, but what you gonna do? All right. So we got Rakshasa Gravecaller, Rending Volley, Acid Spear Dragon, and Profound Journey. Five and two white. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield, and it has a rebound. Oh yeah. All right. I do believe Narset's getting pretty lonely over there. I think she needs her sister to show up. Her shiny, shiny sister. <laughs> Tarka Pummeler, Roast, Orator of Ojitai, and Assault Formation. Each creature you control sends combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Pay a green. Target creature with defender can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Pay two in a green. Creatures you control get plus zero, plus one until the end of turn. For one in a green, it is an enchantment. Yeah, Goblin. Maybe it's just me, but these cards seem like they have way too much text on them. <laughs> We're opening, opening like a champ still. All right, we got press the advantage, circle of elders, ambus, what? Ambuscade shaman ambuscade. That is a weird ass word. It's probably a word I should know. Mirror mockery, enchanted creature. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, you may put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that creature. Exile that token at the end of combat for one in a green. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. We got an Ukud Cobra, that's not how you say it, Savage Ventma, Great Teacher's Decree, and Heaven of the, S or Haven, sorry, Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Tap it, add one to your mana pool, tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, spend this mana only to cast dragon creature spells. Pay two, tap it, sacrifice Haven of the Spirit Dragon, return target dragon creature card or Ugin Planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. In a heavy dragon set, it makes sense. I don't even know what the hell that is, but it looks kind of sweet. <laughs> it's a weird ass looking zombie. Alright, a little over halfway done here. We're feeling good. Feeling sexy. Silumgar Scorn, Lightning Berserker, Blood Chin Rager, and a Faux Razor Regent. 4 5 for 5 and 2 green. Flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Whenever a creature you control fights, put two plus one plus one counters on it at the beginning of the next end step. Kind of cool. And we did get a foil. 
It is our rare Hidden Dragon Slayer. 2-1 for 1 and a white lifelink megamorph. When a hidden dragon slayer is turned face up, destroy target creature with power 4 or greater and opponent controls. Pretty cool. It's a pretty sexy looking rare. It's not the foil her, but you know, we cannot win them all as much as we would like to. It's okay. It's still cool to get foil rares. And it wasn't an intro pack rare, which was awesome. <laughs> it's always good. Swift Warkite, Call Sisma Behemoth. Strong Arm Monk and Death Mist Raptor, nice. Three three for one and two green. Death Touch. Whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, you may return Death Mist Rat or Death Mist Raptor from your graveyard to the battlefield face up or face down, and it has Megamorph. Pretty cool card. Pretty pretty. And another Goblin, yes. Uh, not doing too bad so far. This box has been pretty kind. I do have to say, pretty, pretty kind. Got a Battle Mastery, Salt Road Ambushers, Deadly Wanderings, and Damnable Pact! We got Wedge's card! Yes! The Sorcery, X and 2 Black. Target player draws X cards and loses X life. Pretty cool. And it's so freaking awesome that he got a uh, spoiler this set. Like his own official spoiler. It could not be happier for the guy. For the channel. Sorry, it's not just one guy. Sight Beyond Sight. Lurking Arnix. Arnix? That's not even close. Arnix? Orator of Ojitai and Ojitai's Command. They go together, kind of. Choose two. Return target creature with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. You gain four life. Counter target creature spell. Draw a card. That's uh, not bad. I mean, if that was blue and. Oh, God. Yes. Would be so good. Alright, we are on the middle column, guys. Twelve more packs. Let's make it happen. I don't know what we're trying to make happen, but let's do it. Display of Dominance. Really sweet looking card, but confusing as hell. Warbringer. Tapestry of the Ages. And a Gleam of Authority. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each plus one, plus one counter on other creatures you control. Enchanted creature has vigilance and pay white, tap it. Bolster one. That's actually kind of, that's pretty cool. For one, uh, white enchantment. We got a foil. It's a land. Swamp. Nailed it. Eh. Alright. Eleven packs to go. Got an inspiring call. Silk wrap. Dragon loft idol. And. Thunderbrick Regent. Nice. 4-4 four, four for 2 and 2 red. Flying. Whenever a dragon you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, Thunderbrick Regent deals 3 damage to that player. Uh, one of the more expensive rares, I believe, in the set. Could be wrong. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, God, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. I did not know there was a card in this set that makes a zombie, uh, zombie horror. It's pretty sweet. We've got Virulent Plague, Sight of the Sail uh, Scale Lord, sorry, Ojitai Monument, and Foul Renewal. Turn target creature from. Let me try that again. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Target creature gets negative X, negative X until the end of turn, where X is the toughness of the card returned. Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's a card. That, that much we know for sure. Alright. Get through all the garbage. Dramoka Captain. Scale Blessing. Dramoka Monument. Dragon Lord Ojitai. Nice. The White Blue Elder Dragon. 5 4 for 3 and White Blue. Flying. Dragon Lord Ojitai has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Whenever Dragon Lord Ojitai deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's pretty sweet. And a dragon token. We are doing pretty damn good, I think. I'm not completely sure because I'm not <laughs> that familiar with the set, but it feels like we're doing good. Display of Dominance, Dramoka's Gift. Void Squall, and a Boltwing Marauder. 
For three, a black and a red. Flying whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero until the end of the turn. Five, four. I think that might be the intro pack rare. I don't remember. So much has happened in the past two days. Ah. Okay, we're, we're having problems here. It's okay. Enoch Survivalist. Car Seed Deceiver. Meringue River Skeleton. It's kind of cool looking. And uh, a Tarkus Command. Getting all the commands. Hell yeah. It is the red green version. Choose two. Your opponents can't gain life this turn. Our Tarkus Command deals three damage to each opponent. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain reach until the end of turn. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. We are doing, doing good. I think we got all the mythics we're going to get out of this box. I don't quite remember, but I think so. They haven't been bad, which has been sweet. Cunning Breeze Dancer. Dragon Lord Servant. Skywise Teachings. Anafenza Kintree Spirit. A 2 2 for 2 white. Legendary Creature Spirit Soldier. Whenever another non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, bolster one. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Closing in here at the end of the box, we got uh, four more packs after this one. Let's finish with a bang, or at least a somewhat loud thud. Draconic Roar, Beltol Dragon, Deathwind, Deathbringer Regent. 5-6 for 5 and 2 black, flying when Deathbringer Regent enters the battlefield if you cast it from your hand and there are five or more other creatures on the battlefield, destroy all other creatures. Yeah! Woo! Alright. Didn't quite open that the way I wanted to, but we can't win them all. Oh, that is... This is a sweet looking card. It's all pretty and stuff. Scion of Ugin. Herd Chaser Dragon. Youthful Scholar. Pristine Skywise. Four a blue and a white. Six four flying dragon. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap pristine skywise. It gains protection from the color of your choice until the end of turn. Interesting. Three packs left. Come on. We can do this. I do believe we have the power inside of us to get this done. Again, I don't know what we're trying to do. Explosive vegetation. Nice. Encase in ice. Self-inflicted wound. And an Icefall Regent. No idea what the hell this is. 4-3 for 3, for three, 2 blue. Flying Dragon. When Icefall Regent enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controls. Untap step for as long as you control Icefall Regent. Spells your opponent's cast that target Icefall Regent costs 2 more to cast. Okay, and a Foil Durger Nemesis. Hell yeah, Defender 6-5 with Megamorph and... Is that just like... You guys see all the crap there? Is that just like damaged? I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's not a fantastic card. But two packs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, God. 23 minutes. I apologize, guys. This is way longer than it should be. Sarkon's Triumph. Culligan Forerunners. Gadool Lurker. And a Crater Elemental. 0-6 for 2 and a red. Pay red, tap it, sacrifice crater elemental. Crater elemental deals 4 damage to target creature. Formidable, 2 and a red. Crater elemental has base power 8 until the end of turn. Activate this ability only if creatures you control have a total power of 8 or greater. A lot of words. And a lightning berserker. Plus 1. What? Plus 1. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 red. Pay red. Lightning berserker gets plus 1, plus 0 until the end of turn. And it has dash. And it looks really shiny sweet all right last pack make it count we're gonna start by getting the shit scared out of us with a shambling goblin creepy little bastard dragon lord servant void squall foul tongued invocation and sarcon no but we did get a den protector yeah buddy let me uh, see what the hell that is Creatures with power less than Den Protector's power can't block it. Megamorph, 2-1 for 1 and a green. When Den Protector is turned face up, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. That does not seem bad at all. That does not seem bad at all. Alright, recap time, guys. We did it. Alright, so. 
I'm gonna do that so you don't see the carpet just okay. Got a mirror mockery, assault formation, profound journey, Dramoka's command, radiant purge, living lore, blood chin fanatic, ire shaman, foil conifer strider, blessed reincarnation, foil Dramoka's gift, clone legion, harbinger of the hunt, erishin foremost, foil saber tooth outrider, collected company, dragon lore's prerogative, berserker's onslaught, Colligan's command. Den Protector, Foil Lightning Berserker, Crater Elemental, Foil Digger Nemesis, uh, Icefall Regent, Pristine Skywise, Deathbringer Regent, and Offensive Kintry Spirit, Artarks, Tarkas Command, sorry, Boltwing Marauder, Dragon Lord Ojitai, Foul Renewal, Thunder, yeah, the hell is that on there? Thunder Break Regent, uh, Foil Swamp, Gleam of Authority, Ojitai's Command, Damnable Pact, Death Mist Raptor, Hidden Dragon Slayer, Shiny. Faux Razor Regent, Haven of the Spirit Dragon, and a Narset. Yes. Yes. Well, zooming right in on the crotch. We're going to go back. We're going to go back. Sorry. Sorry. All right, guys. This has been a while since I did a box. Again, my sister wasn't here. Sorry about that. But hopefully, guys, you had a good time watching this box get open. I think I did really well. I have no idea, but it feels like I did it really well. Cool box. Yay, team. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time.